Hello, my name's Alicia from My Crafty Pursuits. Today we're going to be making these football earrings. So let's go find our supplies. For these earrings, we're going to need some crochet thread and a brown, some fabric paint for the ties, a tapestry needle at the end to tie in our loose ends. We'll need two pieces of wire about 8 to 10 inches long. We'll need our jewelry pliers, our earring hooks, We'll need our 1.8 millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors. We're going to start with our crochet thread and we're going to chain two and working in the back bump, so that third loop of the chain. So we have our front two loops and the back bump is this third loop of the chain and we're going to work into that. We're going to single crochet one. We're going to chain one and turn for row two. We're going to do an increased stitch. So two single crochets. We're going to chain one and turn. Row three, we're going to do two increases. So two single crochets in the first stitch, two single crochets in the next stitch for a total of four single crochets for row three. We're going to chain one, turn. Row four, we're going to do an increase, two single crochets in that first stitch. So then we're going to do two single crochets and then in the last stitch we're going to do another increase. So two single crochets in that last stitch for a total of six single crochets in round four. For rows five through nine, we're just going to do six single crochets across. For round 10, we're going to chain one and turn. And then we're going to decrease on the ends. And then two single crochets, followed by another decrease for four single crochets for round 10. Chain one, turn. And again, we're going to decrease twice. So we're going to end up with two single crochets for round 11. Chain one, turn. We're going to do one last decrease for our single crochet for round 12. And this gives us our initial shape. From here, we're going to be adding in our wire. So we're going to take our 8 to 12 inch piece of wire and we're going to create a loop to put onto our earring to put on the hook. So create a little loop by twisting and this twist is going to go at the top of our earring here. So the rest of it you want to mold around the shape that you already have. You can fold in the ends. So they won't be pokey. And if we twist a couple times around the edge, 
And then use our jewelry pliers to hug the two sides close together. And then we're gonna place our wire so it'll line up with our sidebars. And we're gonna be working our single crochets around the wire. So we'll go over the wire into the sidebar and make our single crochet. And we're gonna do that in each sidebar down. And when you get to the end, we're gonna do a single crochet, a peacock, a three chain with a slip stitch into the first chain, and then another single crochet into the end stitch. And then we'll be going back to the sidebars. So 12 single crochets up the other side. And then when we get back to our top stitch, we're gonna do the same thing and do a single crochet, a chain three, stitch into our first stitch and then another single crochet in that top stitch and then in our first single crochet of our round 13 we're going to slip stitch to join and we'll cut and tie off. One way that you can weave in your ends is to use a tapestry needle and go between the stitches and then just trim your tail and now your tail is hidden inside you can shape your football a little bit with the wire if you'd like and then our next step do your strings with your fabric paint so we'll take our fabric paint We'll draw our lines. set this one aside and let it dry while we make our second earring. And if you wanted to add your hooks before you do your paint, you can do that as well. So we can use our jewelry pliers to open up the hook on the end of the earring hook. And then place the loop that we made 
with our jewelry wire. And then take your jewelry pliers and close the loop. And then we'll take our fabric paint and match our lines with the other earring. And then you have your football earrings. I hope you enjoyed making these football earrings with me. Make great little gifts and a great accessory for game day. I would love to see your makes, so if you could tag me in your football earring makes at My Crafty Pursuits so I can adore and share your photos. Thank you.